Hmm. Uh, okay. Let me set this very well. Being a man, one man, I'm in the house. It's not easy. Let me set it. All right. Cool. Hmm. Yo, what's up, everybody? Hope you guys are doing well, and welcome to Kenya's number one podcast network. This is Will King's podcast network. And so, if you're joining us today, make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Right? <laughs> anyway, but but hey, on a serious note, please make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, and um and yo. By the way, before you can even go on, this podcast is proudly sponsored by cantu natural hair uh cantu shea butter for natural hair that is coconut shine and hold mist so this pod this podcast is both it's proudly hey coffee coffee ah uh, anyway this podcast is probably sponsored by cantu shea butter for natural hair coconut oil shine and hold mist here it is check it out so make sure you go check them out. I will leave a link to to their um, discount price on the bio. No, on the bio, on the comment box and on the subscription box. So make sure you check them out. Anyway, let's start with this. You have been following the podcast in for the last like one month. We haven't recorded any content for the nice for the for the last like one month one month yeah, yeah for last month, one month we haven't created any content well because of corona and uh right now it's hard to like go out there and uh and start creating content it's just it's just it's just crazy so, like it's better to just you know stay safe yeah let me get to it sips coffee mm-hmm now 10 months ago i joined tinder yep me Wilkins, 28 years, 28 years old. I decided to join Tinder. <laughs> so this is what happened. Huh? I have been, I've been single, or rather, I've been single for one year. Uh, well, before I joined Tinder, I've been single for one year. How many months? Two months. Yeah. So this time around, I went to Uganda. So I went to Uganda. And um, so I was speaking at Kampala International University. That was last year. After I just like sort of like started getting back on my feet and stuff like that, happened to land a speaking engagement in U- speaking engagement in Uganda. That is at Kampala International University. So going there, I stayed there for like almost one week. Yeah. So staying there for like one week, I'm like, um, okay, cool. So I was just like talking to a couple of my friends. Eh? <laughs> then my friends are like Buddha, Buddha. Ukoko yujina nani? Unafanya yuji uko yujina nani? You get. Cause 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 during that time I was actually like really traveling a lot, yeah. So my friends tell me, hey, Buddha, uko, uko yujina nani, uko solo. I'm telling them, ah, of course, I'm just alone. Because I was I was single, yeah. I'm single. <laughs> um yeah, yeah. So they say, okay, um, how comes you just traveling alone? I say, yeah, well, because I'm not seeing anyone. So, long story short, they say actually you should try Tinder. Now, something about me is that um, one 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 fact about me: I'm very spontaneous. For people who do, who know me, I'm very spontaneous. Like I'm this kind of person who will just um, wake up one morning and say, "Okay, guys, can we go to Diani? Okay, guys, can we go and do this?" Like I'm very spontaneous. Yeah. So um and and I think I was in that place whereby yes I've been single for one year I just wanted to be in an in, in a relationship where it's very intentional like like I'm I'm very spontaneous in a way that then one moment I'll be like yo you know what I really don't want a date I really don't want anything attachment I don't want sex I don't want anything but I, I'm so interested in you but uh can we get to know each other for like uh, whatever whatever months one time I can be like, yo, I I like you. I am so certain of what I feel about you. Why how about we just roll as in it's just been a relationship? And come to think of it, guys, I, I feel like I feel like dating is overrated and I am this kind of a person who if I like someone, like I'll just tell them, Hey, I like you and I wanna date you starting right now. As in let's 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 roll. You see, Nothing can change. Even if you're trying to know someone before you date them 
and you find a couple of things about them th- th- nothing can change you get that's one thing i always just tell people like if you like someone go ahead tell them hey i like you let's dead let's give it a shot if it doesn't work well and good if it works well and good so personally for me i was in that place whereby i really wanted to be in a relationship but again i do want to be in that place whereby i am trying to get to know someone for like six months then after six months i start dating them like officially nah hell nah i just wanted to like meet someone and and we know okay cool we have uh we have we have mutual feelings towards each other and yeah let's do this so my friend said okay if you want that kind of a person then join tinder uh tinder everyone there they're there for two things sex money and relationship but 90 percent people there are in the horny people 90 percent of us are cocoa they're just there for like sex money selling pussy and all that kind of shit yeah sips so i decided okay cool while i was just in uz i was like okay cool once i get to kenya i will uh i will i will join tinder so i came back to kenya nika join tinder <laughs> So I was like swiping, swiping, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, swiping, swiping. Now, if you're in Tinder, there's this thing I have I've seen so many people on Tinder profiles. Everyone is sapiosexual. Sapiosexual is basically someone who is attracted to people who have brains or people who are smart, yeah? I don't know why everyone is sapiosexual. Why can't you just say like and, and I feel like the word sapiosexual is overused right nowadays. You go to, on Instagram, you find someone is calling themselves sapiosexual. You go to Twitter, they say it's sapiosexual. Like they're attracted to people who are smart. And you will be shocked. People, so people even don't know what sapiosexual means, yeah? Just saying, yeah? So I I was like, swipe right. So no, no, this one, nah. This one, yes. This one, nah. This one, yeah. And um, yeah, I started talking to a couple of ladies. Talk, 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 started talking to a couple of ladies on Tinder. Now, when I joined Tinder, I was very, how do I say, I was very careful, yeah? Because I know, for some reasons, I have, my personal brand is out there. So, I, was, I wanted to make sure if I'm going to join Tinder, it's going to take me a while for me to give this person my number. And uh, and I even said, you know what, even if you're going to meet this person, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to be communicated on Tinder, communicating on Tinder. So, I said, you know what? If you're gonna go out, let's say we go on CJ, I'm at Twenty Java, to talk communicate to just through Tinder, no me giving her my number or something like that. So I joined Tinder. I I meet a couple of girls. Oof, wish girls there. Others are very how do I say? Others are very Others are very straightforward. I'm, they're just like, you know what, hey, me I'm looking, I'm not looking for a relationship, I'm looking for friends with benefits. By the way, guys, I've never had friends with benefits. Never, ever, ever. So others are like, hey, me, I'm just looking for friends with benefits. <laughs> now here's the funny thing. Others know me. So when I joined Tinder, others are like, see your Wilkins. See, you were trending sometime last year. And I'm like, oh, fuck, shit. Now again, I have to like explain to everyone on why I was trending, on what happened. You, know, you get, ah. I'm like, fuck, yeah, even on Tinder, someone knows me. Ah, but I'm, I'm, but again, I was like, you know what? I'm, I've gotten over that shit, Maze. We all make mistakes. We get over it. We make amends, and we work on being better persons, right? So I was like, I mean, I don't care, man. So um, then I met this chick. Her name is Nema. Oof, on Tinder. First, she had like so one rule I had when I was doing Tinder is I will never swipe right if you have only one photo. That was one rule. Like, I will never swipe right. Because I'll be like, why do you have only one photo? Me, I've put there like almost 10 photos. you putting one photo and you expect us to get to know each other. Hell no. That can happen, Maze. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, so that My criteria was, one, uh, you must have at least more than five photos. Then two was uh, at least have a well-written bio. Um, yeah, three, you must be shorter than me. I'm six one. Um, four was, um, no, the other things I won't say. <laughs> People will hate on me. Anyway, so I, I find Naima. I'm like, hey, okay. She's actually cute. She's called, she's she, a collabal amid the couple of your sexual. She's 26. So I'm like, hmm, I'm actually 28. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that means, um, that means this is someone who actually probably she's looking to get in a relationship. Hmm. 
so i swipe right so swiping right um i had a i just saw hey i was like hey nema hey were you just waiting for my message or something like that so in corner eh, she's like hey um i like your uh, oh, i like your style your sense of fashion so for some reasons not to brag I have good sense of fashion. Please check me out on Instagram at Wilkins Fadili. Please go and follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Just say. Anyway, so she said, I like your sense of fashion. I'm like, okay, cool. Thank you. So we start ch- chatting, chatting there on Tinder, talking, sharing our experiences. I'm like, okay, so uh, what are you doing here on Tinder? Then she's like, um, I'm looking for a relationship. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Send me here. I'm looking for a relationship. Like, I, I told her the same thing. I told her, you know what, me, I want to be in a relationship. I don't want to go through all the hassles of uh, to getting to each other for like just six months, then trying to see if we can really get that or nah, 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 nah. So she was like, Sam, I'm looking for the same thing. So we we actually had like a really great chat on Tinder for like one week. Then we were like, okay, cool. Um, I think we we should meet next week, so the following week. So we, we had the chat for like seven weeks. So, um... I broke one rule number <laughs> so uh so we've already talked about meeting i'm like okay how about we chat on whatsapp shit there i've already broken my one rule i'm already giving out my number so i gave her my number and quick quick we started chatting now guys here's the thing when we started talking with this chick i don't know for me most times when i when when i get a new number i always do my back, my background check yeah so either I will do true caller or I'll just do my, my my due diligence to get to know who is this kind of person I'm bringing in my life, yeah? So we started chatting, yeah? And I even I never even bothered to call her. I never even bothered to call her. So um, to kind of like chat, kind of like chat up with you. Then it ikafika when it's Thursday. Then she was like, you know what? Me at all at Thursday, I rarely work on Thursdays. I'm always, most times I'm always free on Thursday. So how about we, yeah, we meet up. Then, uh, <laughs> rule number two, come to my place. Shit. Sips. <laughs> so, so she was like, um, so I told her, okay, how about uh, we do something? Because I'm very spontaneous. So I was like, okay, how about we do something really fun? I love cooking. I love trying out new recipes. Yeah? So, um, so then she says, "Okay, cool. How about we, we, I, I come with, I come with drinks. Uh, that is wine. And um, and once I come with wine, we can cook. We can get movies, Netflix, and chill, and you know that kind of shit. Yeah, it was on a Thursday. Then I'm like, okay, cool. I'm game. So we we keep on. Do you remember? I haven't even called her. So we keep on talking, keep on chatting, keep on talking, chatting. And I'm just like, oh shit. Then she's sending me some really awesome photos on WhatsApp. Oof. Mta shek to me a photo ko WhatsApp. Uko ivi uko ko in public. First unangalia taka mungu wa mikuona. Ka mungu wa mwona yo picha. So I was just like, hey, this chick, she's so fucking hot. Anyway. So the next day, it was about a first meet. So I said, you know what? Come in the afternoon. You know? Boys, you know this. So that in the morning, you can clean out, clean your house, clean your bed. Uh, as in, furisha marashi, all that kind of shit, you know? Just making sure you are, you're a lily. Ooh, did I say lily? You are a really good host. I even don't know why I'm saying you are a really good host. You are a good host, yeah? Just to make sure you are a good host. Anyway. So I say, okay, cool. Um, so then Ikafika, the next day Ikafika on Thursday, Ikafika around 10. Then she's like, oh, right, cool, I'm ready to come. Then I say, okay, cool, come. Then she's like, um, uta tuma fair. She said, uta tuma fair. Now, um, now, guys, yeah, it was crazy because I was like, wait. First, I like her, her voice. We've never talked on phone, but she used to send voice notes. So something funny, this one day I tried calling. I could cut a sim, but again, I could my voice note. Then I was just like, ah, maybe they're these kind of people who don't love calls. They love voice notes. But I'm getting I'm like, but sending a voice note, it's too much work than calling. Calling is easy. You just pick, say whatever you want to say. 
then it's done okay so uh then she she sent a voice note she said yeah yeah, yeah uh need to need to me a fair huh then I asked her okay where are you coming from she said uh rongai you know what 1k from rongai to where i live 1000 bob i'm like wow okay so um so I, like so i sent a voice note and say okay uh how about you do this uh you get an uber then uh ukuze i was trying to, I was trying to be smart get an uber come then uber kufikisha i will pay then she's like um well that's a good idea but i have my friend's uber that i use uh, uh like just some stupid lame excuse i have my friend's uber i use do what what as in i can go and go as you which was all jingle jingle to up with you at that point i wasn't thinking about any shit i was just thinking about us having a great time you get i was just thinking about us having a great time then she was like then I, then I, then she sounded so legit then she's twanging like oh she used to like send all these videos and she was really like she has a really good english you get guys like it was so hard for me to even suspect that she's going on, that she's actually catfishing me you get so uh then i, I understood then i said okay cool i'm gonna send you uh, the cash right so um bio bio um i didn't have cash on my on my mpesa i had cash 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 liquid cash so i go to mpesa kikado kwa mpesa ikakam kwa phone yangu nikatuma so after kutuma she's called name right i'm seeing peter joroge wangombe let's take a commercial break mm. peter joroge wangombe eh 1050 so i'm like hmm okay so me i was like anyway this chick sounds very honest so probably cuz even me for at, at some point <laughs> you, you you guys remember the time i was trending eh? then people were saying at at wilkins is not my name it's edwin osigro <laughs> You know, it's cuz I was using what is it called? I was using my what is it called? I was using my friend's ID for my Mpesa. So, when people were sending me money, most times it kwenda kuza Edwin Osigro. So, <laughs> that time was trending. Guys were saying that Wilkins is not his name. So, at I mean kafikiri even kasema ah, probably uh these these nini these wangombe probably maybe ni cousin yake or something like that. You get So I didn't siku nile tu like siku shtuka vile because people people's empesas other 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 people's empesas zina kwa gana zina different than their names so I like siku shtuka I didn't see it as a big deal then I get I then I, I'm like okay let me check the number maybe I've confused the number so checking the number is just the same same number right I'm like okay cool ah maybe that's the reason so I call her I'm like hey I'm trying to call her to ask her can pata do then she hung up When she hung up she sent a voice note then she say hey um yeah yeah nimepata i am coming her voice guys her voice all right cool so 30 minutes later she's not she's not here at home i'm like okay let me call again calling again she sent a voice note hey give me a few minutes i'm almost there i've actually taken a uber i'm almost there so i tell her okay do this send me your pin just to see uh where you are right so she sends She sends another voice and says, "Okay, cool. Let me do that. Let me download Google Map and send you the pin." I'm like, "Okay. Download Google Map. How did you order Uber? How did you place your location?" Then kwa zile za ah, selling me pin Uber sije best yake nini. Then just knew maybe maybe that's the reason why she she didn't have to use Google Map. <laughs> so Um then I'm like okay cool let me call one last time so I decided to call guys when I called guess who picked I think it's I think it's Peter Ngombe who picked yeah I think it's Ngombe who picked so this guy picks and say um hello hello ah uh, anakuja tulia anakuja I'm like hey again that in that swahili it's for it's swahili from nyanza it's not from central i got so confused 
Then I call again. Another guy picked Buddha. Acha kusumbua watu. Kadewa anasema anakuja, anakuja. Acha kusumbua wase. After like uh, 20 minutes he calling again. Eh. Hey. Mteja. Mteja hapatikani. So <laughs> That's how, I, that's how I got catfished. Now, the, here's the funny story. So, I'd save the number. So, one day, I make a uh, home to, like, I had already saved the number. I think I didn't bother to delete it. Um, or maybe I said, okay, maybe I'll delete it later. Ile tu ile You're like, okay, me have been catfished. Me sha hivyo ni nini ni nini hapo hivyo. So, one day, I upload the status. Then, I get, I get a message at cute. I'm like wait this chick is just telling me cute and she catfished me So I decided you know what let me take a different number and call this guy So I I take a different number a different phone uh then I, I call him on WhatsApp Guys when I call this guy on WhatsApp so I I knew I'd find the chick So I knew like I was just sort of like confused I was like okay Maybe this chick cut fished me then uh when I was calling she started to give her friend my number you know as in what as in the phone on gena mimi as in I just said so many like explanations yeah but when I called woo calling this guy is so naked it's a dark guy very naked then he's showing me his dick and he's telling me at the You're cute. I like you. And he's so fucking naked, guys. So fucking naked. And I'm like, we have moved from Neema to I, I've never been so how do I say? Not really disgusted because I'm not homophobic. I've never feel so like I was so shocked. I was f- so fucking shocked. Yeah. So guys, that's how I got catfished by which I think probably it wasn't even Neema that I was talking to I feel like it was this guy and so he wanted to catfish me and the best way to catfish me was getting a chick and by him getting a chick that's why when I used to call he never picked so probably he used to tell another chick Abu send a voice note and send it over to me you get so like those those are my my reasoning yeah? I, I I feel like All this while it was just this guy that I was talking to and this this guy who cut fished me and those voice notes were being sent by a certain chick from a certain place just to validate the entire I am talking to a woman. So guys, if you're going to join Tinder, say to a fair and don't trust any person who sends you request. You never know it might if you're a guy it might be a guy just sending you a friend request. If you you're a chick it might just be another chick sending you a friend request sending you a connection request with photos of a um, of a man. If you're a man you might find it's a you might think it's a chick sending you a connection request. Kumbe it's a guy I make a photo za them. So that's how I got catfished. Um when when should I say next week I'm going to drop another episode on my first experience on um what are this club called on on a stripper club strip club i'm going to share that experience how i got myself in a strip club actually without like i got myself in there cheers make sure you subscribe like comment and remember this podcast is broadly is broadly This podcast is proudly sponsored by Kant